there's no place for argument You are God all by yourself You are God from beginning to the end There's no place for argument You are God all by yourself Ah, brother, you know? good morning to you. Where are you? I was driving on the highway and I had to park. Oh, that's good. Could you find time to see me, please? When exactly, sir? Mm, anytime. But as we speak, I'm in your house. My house? Is it about my wife? Yes. Your wife called me. And the urgency in our voice could not be ignored. So we have to rush here. God bless you. God will honor you too. Don't you get tired? 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 Don't I say only one year. The one like go kill no no then paru won bubu baba eh. Like it in country road of everybody. I mean, I hit it was digitalized now. Eh? I want you to watch you kill it, but like go so no then be kill it more. Phone like when you feel preach currently. Hey, watch you find your lorry WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, eh more. Like it current time more year. Eh? 
E you know da. O da kaye don of fungo gwenio. Su bon a god of sa la fwen miwa. Facebook u ta bi wa sa mu Mama iPhone e phone gon sha wa sa mu Facebook a bi wa E o mama wa sa mu ko lon pe WhatsApp WhatsApp lon pe e jara yin ah WhatsApp lon pe WhatsApp ah a bi eyi ti awon oran si olorun fi nbura won a bi bi ti won fi fi oran olorun se yeye I bet it's a car or a long talk to what to be for two dots. Point of correction, Mama. Oh, Bura. I want a long thing, so you won't Bura won't come to your own. I mean, phone will go now. Ha! Mio less, eh? Mio, dear, ni phone. Eh, hey! Ah, ah! Wonder, must obey, no? I mean, do I buy ni phone? Eh, ni my part will clip it at no. Eh, anyway. I shall not do body, Mama. She problem. If she lies on smartphones, can't do anything. It's my duty. Everything so late, she's not here. Go in there. It's a problem. Until you see me, man. Eh, one more girl can't do both. Go buy and get some. She. I mean, oh, egg belly, Mama. Egg belly. No egg bar. Ha! Egg killer, no. Egg killer. Oh, mommy. Oh, put me in phone. Oh, sure. Oh. Ha. You don't come, Mama. Oh, sure. Oh. You're that fool. I'm not. Oh, sure, Mom. You. Where came I was? Oh, Lord, it was someone. I'm going to go to someone. Oh, hey, you're like a criminal. Hello, my friend. I was fine. Lord, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? To turn back to honor your surprise visit, and the Lord will honor you. Amen, Amen. sir. I think this is the second time you are visiting us. The first time is uh, ten years ago after our wedding. The church is big, my brother. I can't visit everyone, and that is why we have the follow-up and visitation team to cater for the physical and spiritual needs of the members. Thank you for coming, sir. Mommy, you are welcome, ma. It's a pleasure. Hey, your wife said you accused her of being the reason why God deserted your home. We couldn't ignore such serious accusation, and that was why we branched off on our way to the office. She said you left in annoyance. That is true, and that is very dangerous for a spouse to leave home in annoyance for anything could happen outside. So, Braurino, what happened? I vividly remember your last month message that many people delude themselves into knowing God, yet God doesn't know them. You quoted 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 19, that nevertheless the foundation of God standeth sure that the Lord knoweth those that are his. And let everyone that named the name of Christ depart from iniquity. Mm, that is true. That is true. You also said we should check our lives. Mm. If God is there, mm. then we should not be in error of delusion. Mm -hmm. Impressive. That is good. It is good to ponder the word of God daily so as to evaluate our lives. Exactly, sir. Mm. That evaluation is what made me to ask God some giant questions. Okay. As the end drawn near, an event unfold, just to be ready. My wife and I agreed to pray and fast. Okay. And God gave me a revelation. Ah, Baba, why are you not inside? Because it is dirty and filthy. Dirty? Filthy? Unclean and dirty.
dirty. I have checked everywhere. The house is clean and neat. In what, son? In what? We like to present the clean outward, but never bother about the interior in words. Check in words. That was the revelation, son. I began to ponder on it. And to my utmost dismay, an unpleasant odor filled the room. Hmm? I checked and I realized that it was coming from underneath the bed. Hmm. My curiosity turned into bewilderment when I saw my wife hold panties, toilet freeze, some stain with blood, dead cockroaches, dead rats. That is serious. Serious, you said, ma. In fact, it is unprecedentedly outstanding. Well, I told my wife to get rid of them. But she hasn't till this moment. Ah, Uba, you haven't done anything about it? Yes, ma. I couldn't leave the bed by myself. I want to ask him to help me. He refused and shouted at me. Anya, please come and help me to leave the bed. I can't lift it myself. Come now, you know this is not a task for the maid. Help you? Wonderful. So you want me to come and help you tidy up the mess you put there yourself? So you are the reason God have deserted our home. The reason God is no longer here. Yet you dress neatly outside, pretending you are perfect. My dear, I take exception to that. I'm not pretending, and you know. I'm a career woman. I go out early in the morning and come back late every night. House cleaning is not an easy task. And no woman is perfect as far as that is concerned. Can you lend me a hand? I wish. Seriously? I wish to help you. But you know, I can't stand any unpleasant odor of any type. You know my phobia, don't you? It's just amazing that God could review you as dirty. You really need to work on yourself. You need to. What are you now insinuating? That I'm naturally scruffy? It's obvious now. Have I described you as such before? The revelation exposed you. I told you about the old man who will reveal all your mess under the bed. The Spirit of God cannot lie and never will. So you've concluded that I'm dirty. Me, your loving and adorable wife, as you always say. <laughs> loving, adorable wife. Your filthiness has come to a deplorable state that even God can take it no longer. Firmino, you know that could change the line of attack. Goal! Me. Dirty and stinky to my husband. What is going on here? Maybe I've done something else. My husband has never talked to me in this way. Ah. Oh. Lord. Ah. I'm in trouble. It was then I lost it all. I don't know what to do. I don't even remember calling you, sir. I'm a career woman. I go out early in the morning and come back late in the night every day. I try my best to tidy this house up always, sir. So your career give you the impudence to turn this house into an incinerator? What a senseless defense. Honestly, I don't know. My husband, I don't know how they got there. Why did you keep repeating this? As if God's revelation is to cause confusion in our home. Sir, does God's revelations break home abuse? Nah, no, 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 my sister. 
God is never an author of confusion. So why is my husband consumed with fury? Because of revelation that should bring correction and sanity to our home. Why? Daddy. Yes. There is no confusion here. Okay. We will correct this here and now. Okay. Let her go and tidy up the mess so that the Spirit of God can return into this house. God is here. If God is not here, He wouldn't have shown you a revelation. My sister, that is okay. Let go and do the cleaning. Don't shout at your husband, please. It's your head. As the Christ is the head of the church. Mommy, no. No, ma. We use the bedroom together. He's my helpmate. We are not using the bedroom together, ma. I know. But for peace to reign, since you can't call the maid, let me help you at least to raise up the bed. But it's a man's job. I know. Don't argue with your husband. Obey first and stop complaining. My sister, remember, it was your own deeds that were found. My husband. It's not like this, no. Sorry, it is wrong. This is not you. It is wrong. It is wrong. You can't understand. Understand what? I know my husband check out some ladies in his office. They are deceiving him with the artificial eyelashes and perfumes. How do you mean? Two nights ago, when we were discussing, he was asking me some funny questions. Oh, my dear. Yes, sir. Why don't you like using perfume? Perfume? I don't just like it. Oh, I see. Why did you ask? You won't believe it. After the restructuring in my office, my new colleagues have been competing to finish me with perfumes. Nobody will finish you in Jesus' name. That's not what I mean. It's just a figurative expression. Whether figurative or literal, nobody will finish you, I insist. Okay. Thanks for reversing it anyway. But if you see the kind of perfume they buy, if one is not born again, sanctified and redeemed, oh my fault. Uh -huh. They are irresistible and beautiful. My dear, you shouldn't be hard saying this. Don't tell me Christians should bind and rebuke the spirit of perfume in public. Using perfume is not the issue. It is being used in my office too. But your intention and thought matters. Only, where is Galatians chapter 2 verse 20? In your memory verse archive. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet, not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. My dear, did you witness Christ to those colleagues? Did they treat and respect you as a Christian? Hmm. Mommy, can you see? Hmm. Perfume ladies are now enticing my husband. God forbid. Hmm. I know there is more to this. My husband now labels me dirty and filthy. Hmm. Mommy, Daddy, I bear a yeah me. A mini only dirty and so near me. I want more gunny perfume to go for mommy lower. Ha, a me. Bro, Reno, please, let's talk outside.
Caroline. Sir, I need to ask you some questions. Who am I to you? You are our senior pastor. My pastor. Now, have I ever done anything to attract disrespect from you? Ah, no, sir. No. So, if I talk to you, you will listen to me? Yes, sir. Okay. okay. Now, look at me in the face, eyeball to eyeball, and tell me if you have never lost it after those ladies in your office before. Yes. Brorin, no response? Ah, now I understand. But, but please, have you ever had any affair with any of them before? Daddy. Yes. There are temptations everywhere. Okay, okay. I pray every day to overcome them. Hmm. I still have the Holy Spirit helping me. Ah, I know. Ah, Daddy, I know. Am I believe or a woman? Or to one lay at Tamolon she cooking sugar and will be in the office. Me, you wear mimi money. Is she payanisa? Could you I know, I know. I know you still have the Holy Spirit, and that is why the only revelation you see is that of your wife's shortcoming and not yours. Look, brother. Even if your wife is dirty, your refusal to help her is inhuman. Casting as passion and you leaving home in annoyance is not even logical. Look, my brother, help her so that God can help you too. Look, not everyone has got a very good and caring and, and submissive wife as yours. You need to ask for her forgiveness and make her feel loved again. Thank you, mommy. Thank God, my sister. But it's important you learn how to respect your husband. It adds integrity and respect to your CV. <sighs> it's okay. Don't stress yourself. No, mommy. I signed because I thought any revelation you would have would be an answer to my prayer. How do you mean? After our discussion that night, mm. I prayed for him. I prayed for my husband. I told God to reveal to him the true picture of those ladies. My father and my God, please open my husband's eyes. Let him see the true picture of those ladies. Whatsoever they are using to seduce my husband, be it eyelashes, whatsoever they wear, the way they walk, the way they compose themselves, Daddy, please paralyze it for me. Paralyze everything for me. Nobody must take my husband away from me. Whatsoever they have that is making my husband lost after them, my God and my Father, please paralyze everything for me. But unfortunately, I'm the culprit God revealed to him. Hmm. Our God, the omniscient God, knows all things. Keep praying. I know God is up to something because his revelations are never to destroy. God's revelation is not to destroy the joy and the happiness of a home. My brother, you are a man. Take charge of your home. Ah. Let us go in and pray. English dear dear no le manko. No Tony. Olorun ni owo oran mi lati ma wa su lori WhatsApp ati Facebook. Oni kin da phone re pada phone. What? 
Ben ni. Ah, Olorun so be. Olorun so be. God why? Why did you tell her to reject my phone? Oh, because I make my income through betting, right? You see what I'm saying? This is not good. Ha, omo mi, iwo to ni ki ma wa su lori WhatsApp ati Facebook. Say we not ti da tu bi sha. No, listen. I hate being born again. Hmm? I love to commit sin which the Bible dislikes. At my age, you expect me not to have girlfriends? Not to live my life the way I want it? No way! Eh, wo, emi o le ko pe du go go awon demand Olorun to wa no Bible yen me. Ama, eh wo e fi mi lejare. Omo mi. Olorun fe ro re gan ni o. Olorun fe ro me ati kini so. Olorun fe ro re. No, I don't believe that. You are wrong. Because if God truly loves me, no, I mean that God you serve. If he truly loves me, he wouldn't have told you to return my phone. Ki lo nwi. Mo so pe to ba je pe lo to Olorun fe ro mi, ko ni so fi nke da phone mi pada. Mo mo pele se ni mi yes, but o ye ko fi fe gba lo mi na. Ha, omo mi. Ko de wa ri be o. Ba o ni o se ri. No, ba o ni o se ri. In fact, listen mama. I don't want to ever have anything to do with God in my life. Mi o fe bo lo ni kokon se laje mi ra 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 ra. Ha. I prefer to die and go to hell. Hell e ke. Christ. Ah. Why don't you not come into my house? I couldn't. Oh. I was expecting you to tidy up. Is that why you reveal my unknown secret to my husband? And you don't like that? He embarrassed me. He insulted me and called me names. He did that? Yes, Baba. But you are getting more hygienic now. Thank you, Baba. I don't want my husband to see me as messy again. I want to do everything possible to satisfy him. It is good. Very good. In fact, the neatness is not noticeable. You are trying to please him. That is good. As part of pleasing, as is your head, as Christ is the head of the church. In the end, your real husband will be happy to meet you clean and pure because he's coming for people without spot or blemish. Therefore, keep it up. You have endured struggle, hardship, and ridicule to be pure and holy. Yeah. Keep it up. Do you know this song? Which song, sir? Iwa mi mo lo le she gu e she bo bo. Iwa mi mo lo le she gu e she bo bo. Iwa mi mo ni nu ile. Iwa mi mo lo kore. Iwa mi mo ni nu ijo. Iwa mi mo. Lonely shagu e shagu go. I don't know it, sir, but I will learn it. Uh, sing with me. Iwa mi mo. Lonely shagu e shagu go. Iwa mi mo. Lonely shagu e shagu go. Iwa mi mo ni mo ile. Iwa mi mo lo kore. Iwa mi mo ni mo ija. Iwa mi mo. Holy shagu e shagu bu. So it was God. Thank you. 
Uh, please, can you spare me a minute or two? I would like to discuss something bothering me with you. No, boy, boy. Tan yo abba mi wi fun pe ngbo nkan to nso. Olorun. Ori mi pe ngbo nkan kan to nso o. You mean you don't understand me? I don't. I don't speak English. <laughs> Why you are speaking in English now? Ha! Me? English? Seriously? <laughs> you spoken in English again? Ha! This is God. This is a miracle. Ha! English. Anyway, to me this is awesomely strange. But since you cannot speak English and you understand what I am saying, can I share what I have in mind with you? Please do. I'm all yes. All right. Thank you. Excuse me, my not call my name again. I've told you several times that your name is not in the register. My name not in the register. Yes. But mom, my parents said this school is one of the best schools in town. Yes, and you two are equally brilliant. Then my wife, is my name not in the register. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Hmm. Ma, that was my first experience. Although I was very young then, I know that happened about six years ago. When I was abroad, studying, on a scholarship for a particular program. In that revelation, I saw myself and some other people. Names were being called, but mine was missing. I told the pastor about this, and that pastor placed me on seven days prayers and fasting to pray against the spirit of omission and exemption. Ma, I did exactly what the pastor said I should do. That was then. Now in Nigeria, I had similar dreams. The recent one I had is that I saw myself in an organization, a very big organization for that matter. And as I wanted to enter, they denied me access. I couldn't enter. They told me that my name was not on the company's register. Ma, I don't understand. What is happening to me? All these things are really baffling me. But this afternoon, as I saw you, something told me that I should share this with you. I perceive that you have the Spirit of God. And you'll be able to tell me the meaning of all these my dreams. I know you will tell me the truth. Do you want to hear the whole truth? Ma, I have told you. I need the absolute truth about this matter. The book of Luke, chapter 10, verse 20. It says, Rejoice not 
that spirits are subject unto you. Rather, rejoice because your name are written in heaven. Meaning? We are just read to you from the Bible. Jesus talked to his disciples on their ministerial achievements. But for you, it means you should not be happy that things are working for you. You may have houses, cars, good job, sand heads, and all other good things of life. Whosoever was not found in the book of life was cast into the lake of hell. The book of Revelation, chapter 20, verse 15. Ma, can you please tell me this in a practical terms that I will understand? Your name is not in the book of life. Simple. Ma, you mean that is the meaning of all these my dreams? Yes, sir. Then, Ma, what should I do? That my name will be written in the book of life. Thank you, Jesus. You have to confess and repent from all your sins. <laughs> Here we go again. That is what I don't like about you, these Christians. You always see sin in everything. Ma, if I must tell you, I don't have any sin to confess or repent of. Are you sure? Mama, I am very sure. I am not a sinner. I don't steal. I don't drink. I don't smoke. I don't give bribe. And I don't take bribe. I don't womanize because I have a very good, faithful and loving wife. Amma, if you must know, I don't go out of my ways to hurt other people. So I don't have any sin to confess or repent from. Ah, you must be Mr. Saint with all this that you just enumerated. That is good. But why is your name not in the book of life? And why are you being bothered about your dreams? Mama, I don't understand. Maybe they are just ordinary dreams. Maybe, maybe not. But when you get home, at your leisure, read the book of Romans chapter 3, verse 23, and the book of John chapter 3, verse 3. God bless you. God, God bless you, man. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Okay, ma. Yes, ma. Okay, ma. Yes, ma. Bye, ma. Ah. <laughs> Hello, my sister. Good afternoon, my uncle Jometa, ma. How is the family? Sorry, I was on another call with mommy Longe. Big mommy. Hope no problem. There's problem. In fact, there's fire on the mountain. Ah, what is it about? She said I should send circular to all her branches for the next sister's convention with a very funny thing. Funny thing? Yes. Feelingness in the house. In fact, she's already sourcing for speakers. Well, that's good. What brought such team? And why this time? She said she was very seriously for the team before an event occurred in a sister's house, and that gave her the clue. Wonders never cease. It means we should start mobilizing women to attend. My sister, wonders shall never cease, though. Despite all, I believe it's going to be a great program. God wants to speak to us women once again. Amen. If I may ask, who is this sister, ma? This is Sister Renu, Sister Renu. Ah, Sister Renu. What happened to her? You won't believe it. Sister Renu called the senior pastor when her husband left home in annoyance. Ah, why? In fact, she was fortunate to get the senior pastor's attention. Her mommy also followed him, the day being a public holiday. Well, I thought as much. That is unusual of daddy and mommy. They are always working on 
Kai's schedule. My dear, it was there the bubble burst. Her husband exposed her dirty lifestyle, literally, to the senior pastor and mommy. I thought she was the one that called pastor. Yeah, so, but she ended up as a culprit. Wow, that is serious. In fact, when mommy called me, she was so disturbed. She felt for other sisters who might be in similar situation in secret. This is absolutely a matter of serious concern. Absolutely. It was obvious that was why she chose the team. Ah, Sister Reno. Hmm. Who will believe she has to defect? Considering the way she dragged gorgeously to church. My sister, you had better not be deceived by such display of outward portraitude. Happy, oh, my sisters. Only God knows what is happening in world. Don't you see some of our sisters? The way they dress like angels. Their elegant stride will make you think they are from another planet. No wonder. Mommy kept insisting on dress to kill must stop in the church when we are not in fashion show galleria. Hello, ma. Hello, ma. Hello. I'll call you, ma. Yes, ma. I'll call you back. All right. Bye, ma. My dear, hope there's no problem. Moti Bagua. Ono mu siti babi show. Moti bere vipe. Unwa kilo kumi kuni no ni adumi si jobaloro. Ati ni gara de fui ba soke. Unwa siti dami lo. Eni ni, eni gani, eni ni soromi. You are my problem. Eni, lo no o. Enu ni, enu ni, enu ni oni kubari. Ah, enu ni oni pai no ru kodi shu. Butu ba dua fui ni yo. Eh? Eni shope ne kandoti. Eni odoti ma, madam. Eni odoti ami. Hey, don't you remember? Hey, you don't you have it? Hey, don't you? Shame! Who let that be the the Eh? Go to the phone. He did that you me. You know, Betu. Go to the phone. Et quand l'on se lève dans nos lèches. Qui est le mot de son corps Et où est-ce 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 Et eh, o ti ma da pelo. E mi no ti mo la to. Mo ve do do pastor. Eh? Fu kini. Mo no ve do jo yin suni. Mo no so mo pastor de pe bo gba yi le ti tu asiri ile oni le fun. Ah, bo gba ye ke. E re nle o. Ti mo se nu so nu. Bo gba ye ni. Abi, eni te so fun yen. Eyin mo bi to ti ma gbede. Ati afikun ti o ti fikun. Eh? Eh? I want to lose my pastor. I ain't lost my pastor. If I don't touch you, I won't even see ta. Ha! Jack in two. Jack in two. We are a home now. No look at that. Jack in lost of my pay. He a home to move your gun. Oh no, dirty. Eh? I think Baba Nya will not let. He is in a good alley. I will tell the pastor. Everything. Are you truly going to tell the pastor? Yes, of course. I trust you won't do that. It is clear outside. You dare not. You can't do it. You dare me? Oh, my dear, my dear, my dear, please, please, ma. please, ma. please, ma. please, ma. please, ma. please, 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 Oh my dear, please, don't mess it. Please don't go, don't expose me, don't expose me, please, I'm sorry. This is my mouth, I'm so precocious, I don't understand. I got a mess on me, this is my mouth. You are not only precocious. Yes, sir, I agree. You also have rights. Yes, yes, it's true, I agree. Please, please, don't expose me. I will repent, please. Okay, okay. Thank you, Jesus. What condition? 
you be ready to sign an undertaking? I will, no. I will. Oh. I will sign an undertaking. Fine. It's okay, baby. Thank you. I will. No problem. Thank you, my dear. Thank you. Thank you, my dear. Oh. Uh, uh, <laughs> sign the undertaking. Okay, sir. I will sign. Write it. Uh, sign undertaking that from now on. Uh, no more backbiting. No more <laughs> nagging. Write it that no more disobedience. <laughs> no more ugliness. Yes, sign it, sign it, sign okay, it, okay. sign it. Take it. I don't need it. Only one thing. Remember what you've written. Mm. And make sure you assess your life by it daily. Yes, sir. As a minister's wife, your life needs to be discreet and holy. Yes, that should be your life. Supposed to be your lifestyle. Well, all is well. Thank you, dear. I'm so sorry. Thank you so much. I know all is well. Thank you, my God. Thank you, dear. Praise God. Thank you. Baba, you are still outside. There's no place for me in there yet. No place for you, okay? The place is adequately prepared for you to stay, to rest, and even to abide forever. In this house? Yes, Baba. Are you very sure? <laughs> yes, Baba. I don't think so. I've checked over and over. There is no place for me in yet. How do you mean, Baba? I told you to check inwards. Baba, I did. Yes, I did. I even discovered the problem. And my wife cleared even the fastidious traces of them all. It's all clean now, Baba. You sound so sure, son. Still check inwards. Check inwards, my son. Inward? Where is inward again? Just check. Check everywhere. You will find it when it's checked thoroughly. Anyway, I was just about leaving. Ah, Baba. Leaving to where? I want to take a stroll. Maybe I'll find somewhere else I can live. Honestly, I wish to stay and live with you. But obviously, you are not ready. Ah, Baba. After I've offered you an abode here, you still want to look elsewhere? Yes. I live with a lot of people who allow me to stay and make room for me. But to some like you, I just pass through since you cannot make room for me. Baba, don't say that again. Don't say that again. I've offered you a place, but you refuse to stay. You have just told a lie. A lie? The strength of Israel will not lie. Unto two immutable things in which it was impossible for God to lie. 1 Samuel 15 29. Hebrews 6 18. God is not a man that he should lie. Numbers 23 19. I, I don't, don't lie. lie. I, I can't, can't lie. lie.
About it. Who is the tail bearer? Sister Tanitika. Sister Rofo told me, ma. And you, Sister Rofo? Sister Rokwa told me, ma. Sister Rokwa? I heard it from their maid, ma. How many people have you told, Sister Tanitika? Three people, ma. And you? Hem, hem. 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 What? <laughs> I'm just thinking about it, ma. You don't know who you've told? I think five, ma. Holy Spirit. You, you told three people. And you, five. Are they members of this church? Members and two outsiders, ma. What about Sister Oropo? No one, ma. Except my husband who overheard, ma. What about Sister Oropo? It was when I was telling her that my husband had ma. You told Sister Rufo? And your husband had you? And many others, yes, to be known? No, ma. Not many others, ma. No many others? Yes, sir. How sure are we? And when you are speaking in tongues like thunder, people will have different impressions. Sister Orofo, you can quote the scriptures from cover to cover. So, what is the essence? If you can't do what he says, and Sister Tanitika, you only told us to call down fire during prayer. Are you a prayer champion? Or Garulo's prayer leader. Look at your steps. Spread the ignominious story to the detriment of the church. God has just revealed you. I believe if we check your cupboards, you might not be better than the sister in question. How clean are your homes? Anyway, you need to go cry to God for forgiveness and pray that as far as the story had spread, it will be forgotten. In addition, you are being relieved from your position. Ah, mommy, please, please ma. ma. Please, mommy, ma. Please, have mercy on us, ma. Please, ma. We are sorry, ma. Please, excuse me. Please, ma. Excuse me. Please, please, mommy, ma. Please, excuse me. May God have mercy on your soul. Mama, how does God look at sinners? With love and compassion. For them to be saved. Mm -hmm. That means God loves me even when I have not surrendered my life to him. Yes. God loves everyone. Especially sinners. Until they are saved. Except those who won't repent. Or those who reject him outrightly. Mm. Mama, I read the two... Bible verses that you gave me. All have sinned and have come short of the glory of God. In Romans chapter 3, verse 23. And the second one, in John chapter 3, verse 3. Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. 
I pondered on these two Bible verses that you gave me over and over again. And I was even scared further when I remembered your word that my name was not written in the book of life. Again, the Bible passage you quoted in Revelation chapter 20, verse 15, that says, Whosoever name is not found in the book of life, that that fellow is thrown into the lake of fire. I pondered over these two verses deeply in my heart because I have vowed never to have anything to do with Jesus Christ or Christianity. This made me to cry for mercy because I want my name to be written in the book of life. Finally, Mama, I decided to give my life to Jesus. Hmm. Is that so? Yes, Mama. I cried to Jesus for mercy. I prayed that he should save my soul and write my name in the book of life. I cried for mercy and suddenly my eyes were opened. The journey to heaven has a process. Salvation is a process. The name here has been satisfied in the journey. And they can be Joseph. I've been born at Daniel. Yes, yes. I've been in God, David. Only young boy, Shagun. Thank you, Jesus. Finally, I made it. Finally, my name is included. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. And finally, finally, Mama, I had my name. My name was included and a certificate was given to me. I believe that certificate is certificate to eternal life. Ah, I rejoice with you. With that certificate in your hand, you are one of the newest candidates on Nevin Register. Your dreams were collective analogy. You are now on Divine Register because God love you. Hallelujah. Mama, I'm grateful to God. And I thank you too. But it does not end there. What again, Mama? You must keep your certificate cautiously. Stay away from the world and its influence. Guide your heart diligently. Keep yourself clean. Because it's coming very soon. Mama, I will. I will. Now, tell others about Jesus. Tell your friends, relatives, and co-workers. Jesus loved them. Congratulations. God bless you. Thank you, Ma. God bless you, Ma. I'm so your Lord. I don't know it was you. You can never lie. You are God. You changed your thoughts from beginning. 
you are God from everlasting to everlasting. You are God all by yourself. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. To walk with me. Like Enoch? Enoch walked with me and he was not because he pleased me. He was pure and upright in a decadent generation. But you, are you clean? Are you pure in this corrupt generation where others do things the way they like? No. Or like Abraham who walked with me in love, in an upright heart, a perfect heart, obedience and love. Do you love me? Are you upright in heart? Or like Paul? Paul who left everything to follow me. His body, spirit, and soul. What have you left to serve me? Nothing. It takes discipline, dedication, devotion, purity of heart, and holiness to walk with me. Many people cannot attain this status in your generation. Some feel it is boring. But believe you me, it is a necessity. You are not witnessing. You are not winning soul. You are not pleasing me. And you are not sacrificing. Check inwards. Check your heart. Stop castigating your wife. You don't like a dirty wife, do you? No, sir. You don't like a dirty home, do you? No, Baba. Neither do I. I don't like a dirty heart. This is an analogy. Ah, oh, Baba. Is my heart dirty? Oh. Good morning, sir. Oh, good morning. And how are you? I'm fine. And you? Oh. I'm great. I'm good. Mrs. Ujuloge, I must confess you look extraordinarily beautiful, attractive, even take away this money. Thanks for the compliment, sir. But, unfortunately, you cannot take me away because you are married. Hmm. Oh my goodness. I wish this woman is my wife. Wow. Miss Orino, have you heard? Yes, what's the breaking news? Mr. Ajiroba has been appointed to travel on a six month course in New York. Ajiroba again? I wonder. This is the third time you'll be traveling on course. Last year was Chicago. Early this year was Germany. And now, New York. I wish she's not in this office. Is he the only one? I wonder. Nonsense. I don't want you to pick your call. Is Brian real call? I know. But why is he calling me? I don't have anything to do with him ever again. But he has begged you. 
He also sent people to beg on his behalf. Why don't you give him for forgiveness? It means you are still out and very bitter against him. After he had abused me on social media, he made mess and mockery of me on Facebook. We had a lot of people who read it and cast a passion at me with various comments. He's now coming to beg where nobody is there. Whoa, my dear, female. I'll be sure we'll make him feel where money go. Look at your heart. What do you see there? Anger. Lust. Bitterness. Envy and jealousy. And you want me to dwell with you? You want to walk with me? Kill that lust. Refrain from envy and jealousy. Renew your mind with the word. Eradicate anger. Deal with that bitterness. And let the joy of the Lord be your strength. Bury that pride and self-importance before it destroys you. This load of inner struggle makes you act dirty. Which may not allow you to work with me. As I'm preparing to translate the red descent for the next seven years. Seven years? Yes. Seven years of rapture. Where the rest this thing will be captured into the air to be kept from the coming tribulation upon this world. Tribulations? Yes. After the rapture comes tribulation, but the red descent shall be kept from the tribulation coming on this world. Where untold ashes shall be for the poor remaining in this world. The terror and the surge of present is minimal compared to what is coming upon the world. Ha, ah, Baba. The present situation in the world is critical. Please, don't allow me to face tribulation. You don't want to witness this tribulation? Yes, Baba. And you are living your life like this? So carelessly and dirty? You won't run for your dear life. Run for your dear life. Have thy affection been nailed to the cross? Is thy a tried with God? Though thou cut all things for Jesus but lost, is thy heart right with God? Is thy heart right with God? Washing the crimson floor, cleanse and make holy, humble and lonely, right in the sight of God. Here we are. I thank God for the salvation of my soul. And I thank God for using you too as verse one to honor for the salvation of my soul. Now that my name is written in the book of life, I am eternally grateful to God. I told you too, Mama. Mama, what you have, you gave me. And by the help of God, what I have too, Mama, I want to give you. See this house, Mama. It's one of my many houses. Please help me hold this. As I was saying, Mama, this house is one of my many houses. I have wholeheartedly decided. 
to give this one to you. This is the key, Mama. I need this is the document huh. for this house. Ha! Huh. This house? Yes, Mama. For me? It's all yours. Me? Yes, Mama. Me? Yes, Mama. Every me? Ah. Ah. Jesus. Ah. Mama? In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, Mama, we go. Yes. Jesus' name, Mama, Mama, in yes. Jesus' name, Mama. We need an ambulance Mama, now. In Jesus' name, Mama, please wake exactly. up. Exactly. Mama, in Jesus' At name. At number four. Mama, Mama, in Jesus' yes, name. Yes, number four. Mama, please, Mama, come Jesus quickly. Name, Mama. Go back. Go and possess your possession. That is my reward for your consistent soul winning on earth. Because you obeyed my voice, to so return that phone, I also upgrade your reward. You, my daughter, are entitled to a bigger miracle. Therefore, go back. I'm just starting with you. Please, Mama. 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 Thank Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Mama, please. Thank God. Mama, what happened? Are you okay? Are you okay, Mama? Oh, yes. We call for an ambulance, yes. That's correct. But everything is okay now. We don't need you to come again. We appreciate you. Yes. I will come to your office to do necessary reimbursement. Thank you for your prompt response. We are grateful. Mama, are you sure you are okay? <sighs> Glory be to God. I'm okay, sir. <sighs> I received this house. Yes. In the name of God the Father. Amen. Of the Son. Amen. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Mr. Yomi. God bless you. Amen. Mama, it is all yours now. Everything inside is well furnished. Let's go in so that you can see. Hey, Mama, you are still speaking English friendly. Hey, this must be God. This is a miracle. Every good and perfect gift comes from God. Okay then, let somebody shout hallelujah. Vigilante. Me? Mm -hmm. Do you talk to me like that? Uh, me or Rocco? Mm -hmm. ah. You for wait? You for wait? Eh? Why you no wait? Why you come wrong? Eh? You, 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 you this alone. No. I'm a poor, dirty girl. You want to pollute this environment for us, Abi? Eh? Me, I no be open. I no be alone. And I no be a Make you not put your mouth for my matter. Where is he? 
I have found you before. Why are you calling the wrong mouth? Eh, eh, you know, be alone. But you can come and pour the titty for this place. You know, be amable. I need to talk, 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 talk about your, 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 your madam all about in this street. Even in the church. Eh? Now, police go cash all of them away. They will they get this environment. Where to be your own? The little confusion was when you saw that rubbish under your bed immediately after the revelation. And I believe this is an analogy from God. Because you see, I also spent time in praying for you too. And this is what God revealed to me about you. Now, Pastor, let me take you through the book of Revelation, chapter 9, verse 14, which says, Since this is true, how much more is accomplished by the blood of Christ? Through the eternal spirit, he offered himself as a perfect sacrifice to God. His blood will purify our consciences from useless rituals so that we may serve the living God. Repent first. You need to repent from your sinful and dirty lifestyle. Now, if you can engage in a solemn fasting and prayer and ask God to sanctify you, all will be well. What you need is sanctification, the second work of grace. And the Lord will cleanse sanctify and deliver you. Sanctification? Sir? Yes, sanctification. It is the act of making yourself holy unto God. By sanctification or by purification, you set yourself apart for holy use. It is the act of God by which the affection of men are purified or alienated from sin and the world. Not everyone desires to live this expected lifestyle of God. Some feel it is boring, but it is the expectation of God because it demands total separation from worldly affairs. Rorinu, <laughs> you know your problem is inner struggles. Inner struggles? Yes, inner struggles. The habit and the lifestyle you find very hard to break away from. Some inner struggles are visible while others are not. However, you don't hide your inner struggles because it is dangerous to grow with them. They make your heart feel the, except you overcome them through constant sanctification. It is the second work of grace. Jaye. Your name is not in the book of life. Yes, I know. I actually don't want my name to be written in the book of life. Does it really matter? Yes, it really matters. That's a very big deal. And it is very, very important. That's what gives you heavenly recognition. But I go to church. 
I'm a member and part of the church. Yes, you go to church. But you are not in Christ. You have not surrendered your life yes. to Christ. Yes, because if I did, which one will I use for myself? Giving my life to Christ will not allow me to have fun and enjoy my life the way I want it. At my age, do you expect me not to have girlfriends and indulge in sex? It's not possible. Look, I gamble and play bets because there is no job and no tangible source of income. I tell lies and I dupe just to make money. Living on planet Earth without sex, without power, without money is just miserable. And when giving my life to Christ, we never permit me to enjoy. So what are we talking about? But whosoever name is not written in the book of life is cast into the lake of fire. A fire. See, I prefer to go there. Show me the way. Oh, the... What is this? That is what you live for. That is what you ask for. And it doesn't have control? No. Except to be increased. That is how it's going to be forever. Forever? Yes. Forever. And God will be happy to throw people in there? Ah, oh, no, it's not possible. God is not happy to throw people in there. But people like you who refuse to surrender to Him walk in there themselves. But people who refuse to repent from their sins and wickedness automatically go there. You can still change your mind to repent from all your sins and not to go there. This choice is yours to run for your dear life and save your soul. I don't want to ever have anything to do with God in my life. I prefer to die and go to hell. Hell again! I prefer to die and go to hell. I prefer to die and go to hell. Hey, okay. Oh, uh, it's no problem. Just do what is right. Hey, yes, yes. All right. I'll talk to you later. I have a visitor. Yes, please come in. I'll talk to you later. All right, bye bye. Ah, good, 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 very good. At least, when there is peace at home, prayers will be answered. And I hope you are forgiving him totally. From the depth of my heart, oh, sir. Very good. Excellent. Awesomely splendid. And the Lord will heal your wounded heart in Jesus' name. Amen. But, sir, can a Christian heart be dirty? Absolutely. Judas was among Jesus' disciples and he possessed a, a dirty heart. Now, Ananias and Sapphira were among the early believers. They also possessed a dirty heart. And Demas followed Apostle Paul on his missionary journey. But then he turned back because of his love for this present world. In a nutshell, loving the affairs of this world can make the heart dirty. Now, hearts can be dirty when they are not renewed, sanctified, purified, and transformed by the blood of Jesus. Our hearts must be transformed daily with the word. Sir, yes. how can a Christian heart be dirty? I still don't understand. Uh, hearts can be dirty through what we feed our eyes with, what we listen to, what we meditate on. Now, the company of friends we keep and the people we allow in our lives, lust and desires, evil imagination, unwholesome habits and behaviors, cursing and abusing people, any so called Christians with these lifestyles possesses dirty hearts. Daddy, 
Yes. I know I'm born again. I have a good intention. Yes. But once in a while, some bad thoughts flash my mind. Especially to those that hurt me. Is that a good example? Yes, it is. If you allow the thoughts to drive in your heart, we should never be for a good Christian. Don't be quick to judge in anger and don't be happy when bad things happen to those who hurt you. You must pray for a large heart to forgive those who hurt you. Let go of arms and hearts and pray for the good of everyone. It is called the heart of God. A heart of flesh, sanctified, purified, and circumcised. But sir, is there any repercussion for a dirty heart? Anyone with a dirty heart denies himself of seeing God. The Bible says, Blessed are the pure in heart, but for they shall see God, according to the book of Matthew chapter 5, verse 8. A dirty heart denied himself the grace of an answered prayer. Ultimately, people with a dirty heart may miss the rapture and the kingdom of God. For nothing defied will enter into the kingdom, according to the book of Revelation chapter 21, verse 27. This is why we preach about sanctification. And it calls for urgent attention among the body of Christ and all and sundry. <sighs> May the Lord help us all. Amen. Mama? Mama, where are you? Mama, please, how can I get you? I am empty. I have lost everything. I don't want to lose eternity. Mama, please, where are you? Mama! Hello, hello. <laughs> Good afternoon, guys. What are you looking for? Please, I want to see Mama. Mama? Yes. Which Mama? That evangelist. Oh. <laughs> you don't know anything, Mama. You can't find Mama here again. Mama is no more living here again. So how can I get her? Please help me. Ah, I don't know. The rich man, the rich man came to carry my mind away. So I don't, I don't know where. To where? Please, mama. please. I don't, I don't know. I, I can't. Speak. I'm sorry. Pastor. Yes. Please help me pray. Say, may God forgive me. For everything we are done do, my madam, where they pay now. He said, make her the go to further notice. The only thing where they pay me be say, everybody everywhere, they call me Amebo. Then they call you Amebo or you be Amebo true true. Ah, pastor, you too, they call me Amebo. <laughs> when you tell everybody your madam's secret, what did that make you? Everybody. Not be everybody, you. Not only Madame Oroko I care. Now you come out word from my mouth. Say what you can't do for our house early mama. And you open your mouth and tell her everything. Uh, because I don't want to tell lie now. Uh, you no know, want to tell lie. Mm. Uh, it is good not to tell lie. Why she take word from your mouth? You for tell her say na private matter we discuss and keep your mouth shut. But instead, you go tell them. Now, everybody down here. Eh? And you say you know be Amebo. You know, no say now Amebo, they talk that kind of talk the way you they talk. Oh. Pastor, what thing I go come do now? Okay. You go confess your sin and tell God, say, you be truly Amebo. <laughs> then thereafter, you ask for forgiveness because of Jesus. And God go forgive you. I hope say you don't give your life to Christ. Hmm. I do follow Madame Con Church every Sunday. Pastor, as you see me so, yes. I like God well, well. Uh, it is good to like God. But are you born again? Born again? Yes. You mean I see you? Me, I not like that one. No. And you want Jesus to forgive you? If you want Jesus to forgive you, you will accept him as your Lord and Savior. You accept him into your life. You ask for forgiveness. 
because Jesus Christ died to take away your sin and now the blood of Jesus will cleanse you from all your sinful guilt and after that you get eternal life I be you know won't go heaven eh, me I won't go heaven the Bible says, except a man be born again, he no go see the kingdom of God. Do. Oh, so. May God come forgive me for everything we are don't do now. All these things we are don't do for my organ. God, forgive me. Deliver me from the spirit of Togo Togo. The spirit of Amebo. Oh Lord, I don't want it. Deliver me from the forgive me from the sin of stealing all the, my God money we are done steal. Forgive me, Lord Jesus. Forgive me, oh deliver me. Deliver me. Means I won't become born again. Deliver me. Take away spirit of my boy away. Spirit of talk, talk, take them away. Spirit of stealing, take them away. Deliver me, Jesus. Oh Lord, please cleanse me. I am dirty with bitterness. I struggle with lust and envy. I admit and I confess them. Please wash me, cleanse me, and sanctify me, Lord. I need your sanctification. Lord, I need your sanctification. First Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 3. This is the will of God. Even our sanctification. John 17 verse 17 says, Sanctify them with your truth. Your word is truth. Lord, sanctify me. Sanctify me, Lord. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 26 says, That he may sanctify and cleanse them with the washing of water by the word. Sanctify me, O Lord. Lord, I need your sanctification. I need your sanctification, Lord. Sanctify me. Lord, sanctify me. Sanctify me, O oh Lord.